All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today I'm going to be talking about the AMX M4 MLE, which is of course a tier 10 French collector heavy tank. Now, I recently got this tank all onto my account, and I bought it during the auction, but before that, I have never had this tank. I think I maybe played this tank for a few battles on another account, but apart from that, this is the first time I actually own this tank. I played roughly 100 battles, and to be honest, my stats are completely garbage. Like, really, really garbage. I have 3,000 average damage, just a little bit over 3,000, and 60% win rate, which is lower than almost every single other heavy tank in my garage. Uh, if you look at the Super Conqueror, I do 3,500, um, close to 70% win rate, and a lot of my other tanks just do much better, but to be honest, I really, really enjoyed playing the AMX M4. That's the thing I noticed. I enjoyed playing this tank. I YOLO'd a lot, and the teams were crampy, and I made some stupid decisions, but overall, I enjoyed this tank a lot more than most other heavies. And in fact, I'm going to make a bold statement and say that even though my stats on this thing are garbage, I think this is the at least my favorite tank, uh, my favorite heavy tank as of now. That's because the gun on this thing is very, very nice to play with. Firstly, the Alpha is 480, but with tungsten shells, you will get over 500 guaranteed. 500 damage guaranteed on a heavy tank is perfect. Um, the aim time in gun handling is not the best, the gun depression is not the best, but I really like playing this tank close range, and so the alpha of 500 is really, really good. With six shots, you can already do roughly 3,000 damage, which is perfect. Now, the other thing I really like about this tank is the frontal armor. The uh, the upper plate and the turret are absolutely magnificent in regards to blocking damage. The lower plate is garbage, and the, the sides of the turret and hull are also garbage. And you also have two cupolas, but you will be blocking a shell or two comfortably every single game. Now, it's not a guarantee, of course, because, again, it has huge weak points, but overall, the armor is there, and in certain situations, you'll be able to block a shot that will save your life. So, the armor is top-notch, probably just a little bit worse than the Type 71. Well, the Type 71 has really, really good armor all around, but the Amex M4 has it at least on the front. This is pretty much a buffed up version of the AMX 50B with a single shot gun, with a much stronger turret, of course. And the mobility. The mobility is not bad. I think the mobility on this tank is quite good. You will still be circled quite easily by mediums and lights, so that's for sure. But uh, to get from point A to point B, the mobility is actually pretty decent. And with the combination of all three things it has, so the high alpha, the good armor, and decent mobility, it's a good enough tank to have fun in. Because I really enjoy peeking out, giving 500, and pulling back. Just the pure enjoyment of this tank is quite nice, and I'm 100% going to keep playing this tank in my garage. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this tank is just perfect, especially for newer players, especially again, because the armor will save a mistake or two from your side. So uh, tell me what you guys think about the Amex M4 MLE in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye-bye.